Hey, it's Wednesday. Time for another Action Figure Adventures video here on SEO Tour Review. Today, Baby Skeletor and I are taking a look at two G.I. Joe Collectors Club exclusive figures. We've got the Cobra Eel Squad Leader Guillotine and the Winter Operations Specialist Sub-Zero. Here's a close-up of Guillotine there. You can see he's a bald guy with a mustache, but he comes with a scuba diver mask there, and he's got some pretty crazy weapons. And Sub-Zero wears a blue and white parka. This is a recreation, a modernization of a classic 90s G.I. Joe figure. Pause it here to read Guillotine's bio. Pause it here to read Sub-Zero's. Here we have the two figures out of the package. Let's start by taking a look at Guillotine. So Guillotine began his life as a New Sculpt era character as part of the Plague Troopers vs. Steel Brigade 2-pack. So this is a character people are a little less familiar with. I never had him in the early 2000s when that figure came out. That was one of the few sets I passed on. Guillotine has an eel helmet for scuba diving. It's, it's molded after the eels of that era, and it's got permanently attached hoses. This accessory, I think, is the original one from that pack, and so it doesn't quite work out right with his backpack. I couldn't really figure out how to hook the hoses up. Maybe there's a way. There are holes on his backpack. Another accessory he comes with here uh, to plug it in right there, but they're at the top, and flipping it upside down didn't seem to work either to get them lower. Uh, so I'm sure you could kind of figure it out, but it's going to look a little wacky. This is the best I could do for hooking up his hoses. They are both plugged in right now. But the hoses, like, curl underneath his arms there and then back up. Seems like a tangling hazard when you're trying to swim. Of course, that helmet is removable. To reveal his dastardly face underneath. Looks pretty similar to the new sculpt figure. I do like that he's got the little silver cobra symbol there. And he's got a nice harness with that backpack. He comes with a machine gun. This is a new accessory for him, but, but a nice accessory. He also comes with his new sculpt era harpoon gun, laser gun. Not really sure. It's a new sculpt era gun, so it's kind of goofy. Uh, so it's cool they gave it to him, so he's like the original, but also, uh, uh, you know, just a nicer modern gun. He also comes with this crazy jagged sword with a spine and, like, baby skull on it. It looks big. When I bring it out here, it looks like a human skull. When I bring it in by him, you can see how tiny it is. Teeny tiny skull. Uh, this is a weird accessory, but it came with the original version of the figure. So, again, nice update. He also has holstered on his leg a knife, a pistol, and a silencer. So, I think it's a pretty nice figure. Just kind of a weird character that I'm not, not really into. He does have little oxygen tanks on his backpack, which is good. It's a nice attention to detail there. And all, all around, he's he's like a decent looking figure. He's all dressed in black. He, uh, you know, get rid of this scuba diver helmet. And he's a pretty decent looking, just a uh, trooper. Uh, not a trooper, but like a character, you know. A, a low level officer, a, a, a range viper leader, or um, jungle vipers, or something like that. Just a guy to send on a mission. Kind of like a major blood, or a... I don't know, a scrap iron, you know, just a, just a guy to lead a squad of troopers into a mission. As per usual, Guillotine comes with a Cobra figure stand with his name on it. I give the club some credit for making some of the new Sculpt era characters and, and paying tribute to that era of G.I. Joe. I would have rather had Agent Faces or maybe somebody else from that era, but, you know, part of my prejudice on this figure is that I just didn't have him, so I have no, no memory of, of uh, you know, being excited to pick this guy up. So when I was ordering this subscription, and Guillotine was one of the figures working against me wanting to get the set, Sub-Zero is one of the figures helping me want to get the set. This is a classic 90s, a real American hero figure. Not even one I had as a kid, but one that I was aware of and that I, that I knew was cool. I have him now, obviously. But um, this is a cool modernization of him. They tried to give him as many accessories to match that original figure. It's not a perfect figure, and that's mainly because of that parka, but we'll get into it. Sub-Zero is wearing a blue and white parka. This is a parka accessory made for a snow version of Snake Eyes during the first G.I. Joe movie. The parka really inhibits a figure's ability to move. You can't move their head because it's inside the jacket. Uh, so you really can't turn their head. Oops, I knocked him over. And then the lower portion of the jacket really affects your ability to move the character's legs. So he looks good, but he's not super poseable. One interesting choice they made for this figure is he comes with Spirit's backpack and dart gun. I'm not exactly sure why they chose that. I like those accessories a lot. It's really cool that you can take this clip out of the gun 
and switch it out for ones in the backpack. He's not an Eskimo. He wasn't born in Alaska, so it's not really that it's like a Native American weapon like it is with Spirit or something like that. Maybe kind of this looks like the Decathlon rifle. He doesn't come with skis either, so I, I, I'm not sure where they were going with that, but they're, they're great accessories, and I like them painted in white. Sub-Zero comes with a machine gun that looks decently like his gun from the original toy. No ammo belt this time, but it's pretty awesome, even like the little bipod there. He's got a pistol holstered on his belt there. He comes with Snow Serpent snowshoes. The original figure had snowshoes of a different design, but these are close enough. We'll go with them. He's got a fun little radio speaker thing sculpted on his hip there, painted in light blue to go along with his paint scheme. Not sure if that's like a, an explosive or a set of binoculars clipped over there. The original Sub-Zero came with a mortar and three missiles that could fit inside it. This is a decent substitute for that. And he came with the G.I. Joe base with his name on it. I don't remember them ever doing these in different colors for figures. So it's interesting we got a white one. Maybe I just am not remembering correctly, but I always thought they were just always black. Maybe there was somebody with a silver one? Can't remember. So when you have to determine who wins the battle of the better figure, you have to decide, are you going with nostalgia or articulation? Guillotine doesn't have that nostalgia factor for me, but he is a more poseable action figure. He has all the standard modern era G.I. Joe poseability, while Sub-Zero here screams 90s Joes to me, but really is difficult character to pose around because of his parka. Thanks for watching this action figure adventures video. Do Baby Skeletor a favor, hit that like and subscribe button.